Welcome to Birmingham, where this huge structure on HS2 has been pushed over this busy road over this weekend. It's not the end. It's going to take another seven nights to finish it. But there's been huge progress here over this weekend. So we're going to get the drone up. We're going to have a look at Curzon Street. And we're going to have a look at this huge structure that's been moved across this busy road while the residents of Birmingham have been sleeping. Absolutely massive. And we are looking quickly at the, the, the tram extension, which is just outside Curzon Street. And then we're going to head down, have a look at the HS2 works that have happened on the middle way where the bridge has been pushed over the weekend. So it's just a very quick place to start. Sounds a good idea. Lots of people noticed them last time we were here. So this is the, the foundations for the station. As we look around the corner here, you can see all of the, uh, the new tram route. Uh, working today on this, so we'll have a very quick look. So there you are, they're running around in front of this hotel this weekend, so head just down to the end here. They're currently doing pavement work. Leave the tramways there and heads off into the distance. So when you stop there. And continues into, I guess we're going to run into Curzon Street. So, yeah, there's the tramway. Let's have a look at this new station. So, you've got pilot rig there, some foundations being built. Is that like a holding wall, maybe? It's been a while since I've been here. Uh, the big reason for coming this weekend is the looks like a holding wall there, retaining wall, even. Big reason for so just looking over the site here, you can see the uh, foundations going in for the station. Lots of pile of work done here. There's the, uh, the road that surrounds it. So we're going to start moving through. These have all been piled. There's going to be a few pauses in the video while I move along. So you can see there, lots of piling has been done. Such a big site. Looks like there's another one there in the distance, so we'll continue to move along. So the, the big event this weekend was the, the push of the the bridge. I thought we'd come to have a look at. Just walk past it. It's moved an awful lot. I was expecting to see that it moved 15 metres. But it's actually already by the look of it across the bridge, across the road. keep altering my standing position see there'll be pauses but we're going to keep moving as much as we can you can see there another set of concrete's been poured so the pouring still going on in that section 
the turning walls. Still in place there. There's the uh, retain building. We can come in and have a much closer look at that today because the all the cranes are gone here now. There's that building from the other side. As we look back across the station site as well. See all these piles have been done. A massive concrete wall there. As we look back. Looks like we're finally starting to see proper work happening here. Birmingham in the background. Did ask if I could bring the camera down and have a quick video of the, uh, the viaducts, but the security said no. We'll head down and have a proper look at those. The crane's no longer there, so it should be no issues. I'm going to pop the drone up a bit higher as we go over the top of the, the building. A bit more piling there. It looks like there's been some concrete pours done. In the distance are the, the viaducts for HS2, so we can uh, come along to those have a proper look. Like I said, the rather large crane that's been here for a long time is no longer there. We need to get behind this building. We should be able to see perfectly. There's the Viaducts itself, as I said, no more um, cranes in sight here. Last time we were here, they were still pouring concrete. As we look back, you should be able to see the rear, there's the current railway. There's the site itself for the station. There's that being, building that's being restored. I think that's the oldest railway building in the UK. I think I read on the last night. And as we spin around again, we see the viaducts. Like I said, there's no cranes anymore, so we can come down a lot more than usual. Get a much closer look at what's been built here. Got to avoid the lamp posts. That's the, the viaducts the trains will arrive into Curzon Street on. Like I said, I did go in and say, Can I kindly video these? They said no, so we're relying on the drone. See if that'll buzz me above my head. As we come in front of the sun, we might be able to drop down a bit lower. Because I'm currently focused at the sun, which isn't very nice. We come down a lot more. We can have a proper look. Just at those viaducts there. Sun causing me big problems. Currently squinting. It gives you an idea of what they look like now they're fully concreted. We'll do a quick shoot over the top at the end as I now regain my sight from staring at the sun. So this is what we came to see, the bridge that's been moved over the weekend. Maybe we just walk a bit further down. 
the viaduct come to an end over the canal, towards the canal even. There's the end of the viaduct coming into sight. Yeah, it's a shame they said no entry to grab a little bit of footage. Could be another 10 years before we're allowed public access to this bit. Depending on how long it takes to build the station to remove all of it. It's got a passing seagull. So we'll just uh, pop the drone a bit higher away from that. Now we're going to head down to this end bit where this weekend's works have happened. So we have a proper look at what's going on there. So we can see the bridge has turned. The bridge has also been moved. It was apparently meant to move 15 metres last night. There is one crane here, so we're going to pop the height up a little bit just for passing the top of it. I don't think anyone's working at the moment. It's not helping me at all with this, so I hope it's picking up everything I wanted to. <laughs> this is that part where we pass over the canal. You can see there where they're going to build the, the rest of the bridges. So the bridge is there, I'll join into the end of the viaduct. As we come down here, the, so the bridge sat there, it's been sitting there for a long time now, and now it's finally been moved across the middle way. So it's sat on this bit of land for, I think I first filmed here 18 months ago. There it is now. Move forward. And sitting across the road. This is what we're here today to see. And a lot of seagulls by the look of it. So the, the push is going to continue for another, I think it's another 10 days. Moving 15 metres a night. The bridge will move across to reach that other viaduct in the distance there. So they'll eventually join onto this part. And be joined to the other bridge which is in the distance. We'll grab some footage of that in a moment, rather than flying down here. So we came to really document this bit of concrete, this bit of metal here. So you can see the metal now, pushed, turned, pushed, sat under that cover for a long time while it was being constructed. Now, hanging over the end of the road. Apparently moved 15 metres last night. Do the same again tonight. It's one of the biggest bridge pushes they've ever done. I don't know if they've ever done a turn as well. I think that might be a one-off. It was over a thousand, thousand tonnes huge bit of metal removed in central Birmingham and that'll eventually allow for the construction of the joining here to connect into Curzon Street Station I 
can see in the distance the city itself, those large towers that are under construction. That'll be the central London destination. The trains will run here from Euston eventually. So head down to um, Delta Junction after this. We'll be there for a while and seeing there's been quite a lot of updates added. But this bridge is a mammoth task of engineering to move it. And to do it overnight with so little disruption, this roads will open again it's Sunday morning. You know, there's no knock on effects of what they were doing here last night. Now, the crane is pretty sta static, so I'm going to go for the side shot. I think we can get in across the top of these trees. Being blinded by the sun, and hopefully, no more seagulls. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to get the shade on this side. I don't know what the access is like on the other side. Wild. You can see the size of that bridge that's been moved. What an amazing feat of engineering. If you don't, even if you don't like HS2, you've got to respect what they've done here. Because it's to move that without disrupting anybody really is incredible. So thanks for watching everyone. It's been a while since we've been to Birmingham, so I think it's been four months. But you know that viaduct there is now all poured with concrete. And this bridge is finally moved across. So we're going to call it a day to there before the drone flies back to where we started. Thanks for watching. It'd be rude not to take a quick look at the Bellingham Bridge. So there it is in all its uh, glory. Incredible structure, really. We look back. Is that way towards central Birmingham? So there's the Bellingham Bridge under construction. Shows how much is thought of in Birmingham.